Well, hello. Uh, good afternoon or good morning. Good evening. Not sure when you're watching this, but welcome to my poster for the Center for Teaching Excellence uh, Fellow seminar that I participated in during the 2021 academic year. Yes, this is not a poster. This is more of an overview, but I thought I'd share with you with the information here about what took place in my class or course transformation during the fall of 2020 and into 2021. Now, first of all, just to make sure I'm clear. Oh, and by the way, Sean Smith, Department of Special Education. The course I focused in um, was Teaching Exceptional Children, uh, which is a course that is required for undergraduate students that are seeking to pursue an elementary or secondary education uh, license endorsement in a variety of areas. Uh, so, of course, elementary could be grade level. And then middle, secondary could be social studies, English language arts, foreign language, physical education, music education, and the list goes on. So this is generally their first class in exceptional learners, and actually the first of two or three, two most likely, uh, when it comes to their entire uh, experience in getting prepared to be a general education teacher. So pretty critical class when it comes to special education, and pretty critical class when it comes to understanding individuals with disabilities who of course are included uh, in the general education classroom for the majority of the day. So that's been the focus of my efforts in the past. Uh, and this is actually, I think, very meaningful and very purposeful in that oftentimes, even though we do expect inclusion to take place, uh, it's a struggle in our general education classrooms. Uh, oftentimes we continue to think about individuals with disabilities as a separate group, uh, a group that will be served outside the classroom or by another specialist or group of specialists. And so inclusion is definitely a necessary focus. Now I've focused in on inclusion of individuals with disabilities and really focused in on, focus being the theme today, on the idea of inclusion for individuals with disabilities. Unfortunately, that emphasis on disabilities has oftentimes neglected the overall individual and that is representing the individual beyond simply their disability and it's actually kind of a bit of a conflict for me because I always emphasize the fact that person first language we're looking at the individual first not the disability and yet because of my effort on disability I tend to think and not focus in on the other elements that make up the individual, their ethnicity, their culture, their gender, um, their focus in terms of their family and everything that surrounds it. Now I've rationalized that in the past with the idea that, well, other coursework will deal with that. We have a class on uh, multicultural education and things of that nature. Uh, yet this has been a challenge. And so I attempted to, through this fellowship, uh, the seminar with uh, CTE, to really deal with the how how would I further include this overall expansion of, of the individual, in all honesty, that goes beyond the disability? And so what I started to do was look at from, of course, the readings we read, from the discussions we had, from the overall experiences we had in the fall of 2020, what I tried to do is, okay, how can I embed elements throughout the entire semester, not just simply have a one-off? And that was something that was really emphasized. It needs to be very much, in my word, language, I guess, embedded throughout. Uh, and so, for example, I, I introduced some additional readings uh, from the get-go, but also introduced uh, ideas and concepts in relationship to the topic that I was already doing. So, for example, early on, we talk about disability in, in context of how this society perceives individuals and perceives a disability or an ability. Well, of course, that was a perfect opportunity of how we perceive ourselves and, and where we see ourselves in terms of fitting within culture, uh, where we see ourselves fitting uh, within uh, what's typical and atypical, and the list of things goes on that, that really expanded beyond disability. And of course, a lot of discussion, a lot of reflection, but there were critical assignments. So for example, beyond just simply discussion and beyond just simply uh, some of the components of uh, the, the, the typical course uh, that we have, um, I, I've always added in guest speakers. And I guess this is alignment with somewhat typical, but the guest speakers have always been purposeful. So for example, I brought in professionals, I brought in parent members, I brought in individuals uh, with disabilities, as well as just simply K-12 students. Uh, and we've talked about a number of different issues. I was a little bit more purposeful, and I will be purposeful going forward. So for example, I always want to do the first week have an individual that is a building administrator uh, or a district administrator. And in that instance, I've, I've 
selected a number of individuals. I've reached out to a number of individuals, but this one I wanted to be a little bit more purposeful. Dr. Anthony Lewis, who's the superintendent of Lawrence Public Schools, himself a former special educator, has also led a, a district-wide effort that kind of aligns with what I was trying to do with this course. So I was very purposeful in reaching out to him. Now, you can see from this picture, uh, he's engaged with individuals with disabilities. That actually is my son at his graduation. And uh, it's actually from a personal experience that I, I watched Dr. Lewis uh, connect with some of those elements that I'm trying to integrate into this class. So he was the first week, and in so doing, everything from the questions being asked to the discussion that we are asking of him to the issues that he covered, it was much more than just simply disability and this idea of inclusion. Uh, it expanded upon the entire person, uh, their context within what we're trying to do within the district, but also within society. Then I also, though, uh, identified it within a specific assignment. And, and this assignment takes over uh, several weeks. It's a cornerstone assignment uh, to take a look at an individual. Uh, and to take a look at an individual, really thinking about the instructional elements behind this individual. In so doing, uh, I set up cases. And, and I'm very purposeful in setting up these cases uh, to make certain that, one, we were reflective of the diversity of individuals, of course, in our schools, but also bring in the entire child, which is, again, one of my emphasis, the walk away from the fall to try to integrate into the spring. So Jacob, so for example, has uh, autism, individual with autism. And that, of course, was an element of the focus, is how do you plan for, how would you design for, how would you instruct an individual with a disability? Jacob's instance is an individual with autism. But in, an um, equal, or at least an integrated element, is himself uh, and his family, um, himself within his cultural context. Uh, contextualizing the disability, but just not simply the disability as within school, but broader speaking. And in doing so, not only Jacob himself, but also within his community, uh, his family, and things of that nature. So that was all elements that were uh, provided as part of the essential elements of the case study that was then asked for, well, four different things. One, the instructor was being asked to, instructor, the student was being asked to, uh, as an instructor, plan for uh, Jacob as well as, in a way, all of Jacob's needs uh, introduced there. Uh, they had to look at a framework, and that was something that we introduced, but how to facilitate this within context of who he is. But of course, that required a, a bit of planning and how to operationalize that planning. And finally, uh, bringing it all together, what would you have done? What was your reflection from that? And of course, again, reflection on the entire individual. So those were critical components to this course transformation that was in uh, response to what I learned in this fall, uh, particularly in terms of the issues of uh, you know, globally diversity, but really, to me, the way I took it is the entire individual. And of course, taking a class that's focused on individuals with disabilities, but expanding upon it, and, and, and yes, dealing with disabilities, yes, dealing with inclusion, but so much more than what I've done in the past has been focused in on elements of the disability, but now it's more focused on the person and where the person fits within education, within society, uh, within themselves as a human learner. So thank you again uh, for Center for Teaching Excellence for having this opportunity. Thank you for guiding us. Thank you for the topics that were um, discussed. Uh, thank you for what you exposed us to. And uh, thank you all for listening to this and the opportunity to share this. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to email me and have a great day.